It was a scene of pure jubilation. Over a month after her bird tofu was stolen, Mercedes Kemp finally reunited with him on Tuesday. He recognized me as I was crossing the street, and by the time I got up to him, we were both just smiling ear to ear, overjoyed. Tofu was stolen along with another bird named Plato last month from Kemp's Feathered Follies pet store in Concord. Both birds are estimated to be worth thousands of dollars. After initially running cold, the Concord Police Department says additional evidence uncovered by the Union City Police Department ultimately led them to Tofu, who had been sold at least four times and was down in Los Angeles. Um, we did um, follow-up um, investigation in various cities. Uh, we were in San Jose, Fremont, Union City, uh, into Modesto, and every, um, every step we took led us a little bit closer. Kemp says while Tofu was missing, she and her shop received an enormous outpouring of support from the community. Oh my gosh, I read the paper. We witnessed some of that support firsthand while at Feathered Follies on Wednesday. I always come here for my birds too, but I was so excited when I saw the pictures and wow. <laughs> oh, so grateful. Oh my gosh, I'm so grateful. <laughs> I know. That. While Tofu has been reunited with his owner, the other stolen bird, Plato, is still missing. And the Concord Police Department says they're doing everything they can to bring him back home. You being shy, boy? As for Kemp, she says she couldn't be happier to be reunited with her baby once again. And for the love that she's gotten in his absence, she plans on paying some of it back. She tells us she recently created a nonprofit called the Feathered Follies Foundation. We want to be able to help birds that can't help themselves. So we have, you know, a roof and some food and a place to help rehabilitate them when they need it. Authorities have identified two suspects in the bird napping cases. One of them has already been arrested. The other has an outstanding warrant out for his arrest. In Concord, Tim Johns, ABC 7 News.